Welcome back to the show. On Monday night at the Spirit Church, an event called the Men's Locker Room was hosted by their pastor, Hall of Famer Aeneas Williams. Hundreds of men came to hear the Christian testimony of one of the greatest overachievers in NFL history, London Fletcher. And we caught up with London earlier. Still under the pressure, and he's brought down by London Fletcher after a two-yard game. Yeah. How do you remember the greatest show on turf? Man, that was, uh, that was some great times. Uh, I, the, what I remember most is just how we love playing with each other, you know, the fun we had. Obviously, you know, the winning was great, and the scores were, you know, obviously not very close, but just the practices, how we love competing, how, how much fun we enjoyed each other. Um, there wasn't a lot of egos that, that interfered with what we were doing on the football field. Um, I just I just enjoyed being around the guys. I think we enjoyed playing together and what we were able to accomplish. You're one of four players in history to play in 250 consecutive games. List the injuries you played with, the big ones. Uh, sprain, sprain MCL. Um, um, I had pretty bad ankle injury, high ankle sprain that um, that uh, could have kept me out, but I ended up just you know dealing with that, playing with it. Um, a foot injury, like a small chip fracture in my foot. Um, so, you know, those are some of the worst with hyperextended knee. Um, man, I, you know, I, I've had a lot. I've had a lot. You never missed a game? I did not miss a game. What's your body like now after all those collisions? <laughs> it's a, you know, I'm like anybody else who's played the game for 16 years. You know, all, you know the, the aches and pains, the arthritis, the, you know, the, the um, a lot of just little things that, that, that you deal with playing a game of football. But, you know, I get around. I'm, I'm, I'm still good. Did that chip on your shoulders stay with you? I mean, do you remember that? Well, out of all those three, whether it, be, whether it be an undrafted, the Pro Bowl deals, the biggest disappointment was the Rams not re-signing me when something came to free agent because they had an opportunity to know me now. You've, you've seen what I've done for four years in your organization. You've seen the type of impact I've had, you know, not only to your defense, but also to this team. So that was probably the biggest chip out of all of them. I was I was angry when when that when that all occurred where I didn't resign with the Rams. Very few players in history have 2,000 tackles. How often do you think about the Hall of Fame? I think about it because now I'm eligible for it, and it's a situation where I know my performance was Hall of Fame worthy. I know what I accomplished on the football field was Hall of Fame worthy. I know I'll be a Hall of Famer. So it's not a situation of if it's going to happen. It's just a matter of you know, when other people will recognize it and put me in the Hall of Fame. 